Be very wary of the lights. Duplicate signal. Wary of the lights? When you get there. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't go into the light, Carolian. <laughs> Oh. Anglerfish. Uh-huh. Hi, I'm Eagle i Fi. I'm Ozone. I'm Confident. And I'm Clueless, and we are back yet again playing um, Outer Wilds with... Whistling. Hello. <laughs> and as usual, I'm racing off to the ship because, yeah, time is a thing. <laughs> Now, let's see, in the last episode, we made it to the interloper. Failed once. Twice. Yeah, <laughs> we, we failed once. Uh, and uh, But we learned some really interesting things about the interloper, although I don't know what use it is still, honestly. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we learned that it's basically the, it's the source of dark matter was our theory. Ghost matter, yep. Ghost matter, yeah. And, uh, what is that? Oh, there's, there it is. We decided to go to the Dark Bramble, because it's new. And it's we haven't the one been there place before. we haven't been to at all yet. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. One of the <laughs> places that we haven't been to at all yet. Mm -hmm. That's right. Watch out for the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's all right. We missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's only 18 kilometers away. I mean, we could walk there if we had enough time <laughs> and a solid surface. So, yeah, the Dark Bramble is something that we have not ever visited before. And it looks like it has a moon. So should we start at the moon? No. Take a closer look, though. That's the quantum moon. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. Nice. Okay, matching velocity. Let's just take a little bit of time and look at it. So you had told us that basically this thing exploded from within. Well, the game told you. I'm not going to tell you significant lore details. But there is something <laughs> in the center that I feel compelled to go see, you know? Mm -hmm. But I don't kind of don't want to just yet. Um... There we go. Give me the signal scope. Oh, yeah, so mm -hmm. definitely that's where Feldspar is at. And we're still going inside, so. Go on in. Go on in. I can't see a thing. That's intentional. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> but there is that dark red spot, which looks like that little spot that's going in that. The, the vertical. Around the solar system. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I would listen to the... Uh, harmonica. Mm -hmm. Go that's towards we, the harmonica. That's where we need to go. The white dot. Wait, it disappeared. It's moving around. I And also, I would go... Slow. I am trying. You see, I'm being very much more delicate than I have mm -hmm. been. And I'm saying this for a different reason than uh, to crash into the vine. Okay, so in the core there, that's where that white dot is. I mean, that's totally the reading. Mm hmm. I think we're going to have to get out and go walk in. Oh, no. He seemed to be... I don't know. Have you figured it out yet? No. About... Well, now you're just all over the place. You're right. I am. <laughs> but there's no feldspar here in this area. Well, you turned around the other way.
43 meters, and then it, it's all of them. No. No, I haven't figured it out. Oh, it's 600 meters away now. I'm saying... On you... another planet? Are these, like, pathways to another planet? I'm saying you went into this core, and the inside looked pretty small. And then you go in, and it's and pretty it's... big. Yeah. And then you go in another smaller core, and it's pretty big. Uh-huh. <laughs> That one looks bad. That one looks very dangerous. Oh, I know what you need to do. Of course you do. <laughs> of course you know. I was just remembering. Oh, let's uh, uh, put that away and wait. Launch scout. No. I want to launch the scout in there. It is kind of off, though. It is the off. The ship's um, aiming. Oh, it's going. No, it's still right there. Okay. Hazard. It's still not going. There it All goes. All right. Now it went. Duplicate signal. Yeah. There's two scout signals. Look at the edge of the screen. Yeah, the scout's one and a half kilometers away, mm -hmm. and there's a scout there. Uh-huh. So, we can't get in there, though. We'll follow the other signals. And maybe it will. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're... Be very wary of the lights. Duplicate signal. Wary of the lights? When you get there. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't go into the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> oh. Anglerfish. Uh huh. And you know what anglerfish do? They trap you. But this one's dead, so it's all right. Oh, good to know. <laughs> it does look like a... Oh, hey, there's trees. Oh. Oh, that's a campfire. where he is. Let's see, how do I get down there? I'm like stuck against... The teeth. <laughs> I'm stuck against the teeth, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Trees. I mean. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on, Ozone. I know. It's really, yeah. it's really hard. <laughs> I say this knowing that I would be so ten times worse than you, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I think that's good enough. At least I hope that's and good also, enough. And also, I also say this knowing that I'm lying by 10 times worse. It would be more like be 150 <laughs> times worse. No, we're, we're floating away. I really... I don't know how to get into a better position, you know? It's a one-way trip. <laughs> Assuming I don't fall out of the... in between the teeth altogether, you know? Oh, you need to find that crystal. There's a got to be a crystal down there. A crystal? Like a gravity crystal. Ah, here's... There's one, but I don't know if that's big enough for the ship. No, but for him. See, for I'm ozone. trying to get in here. There's a... Looks like a purple gravity crystal down there. No, you're right. <laughs> I'm trying to say this is probably going to be a one-way trip. Oh, yeah. I know, I know what you're saying. All right. Well, I guess we'll try to just you rely on our suit. Yeah. Okay. Well, that went fairly well. Good. 
Yeah. Hey. Feldspar. Whoa. Where'd you come from? No one's come in here and well, actually ever. That makes you the second Hearthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet? So good for you! <laughs> <laughs> Feldspar, you're alive! You were never the brightest hatchling, were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? Oh, this is a good story. Okay, I thought I'd just finished exploring the the core of Giant's Deep and needed a new challenge, and none of us had ever been inside Dark Bramble, so I think, hey, let's give that a try. I've been cruising around for a while, dodging the old massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, when I ran into this huge anglerfish, the biggest I've ever seen. So I pull a few stunts and try and shake the thing off, nothing too fancy, and I'm going full speed when the fish clips me and knocks me into a vine, and... Well, like I said, I crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, oh well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical systems start sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. Poor fried ship. <laughs> ship. <laughs> Shrimp, not shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Six of one half doesn't matter. <laughs> Although fried shrimp sound awesome. <laughs> I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. A great find. I would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Well, I can't believe you didn't die. You know, in the old days, I used to think the same thing every time I came back from a flight in one piece. These days, I'm used to it. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hashling. Story's over, but feel free to stay over, stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Wow. Okay. Uh, where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that the space here is weird. Intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of those weird seeds? See there, with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. The seed looks small, but see, the inside? It's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space and dark bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind when you're exploring dark bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. <laughs> Good luck! Okay, no, we got lots more to talk to. Oh, about. yeah. <laughs> hey, Ashley, pull up a marshmallow stick. Come here and hear my tale. Hear tales of my heroic exploits, have you? All right. So you've reached the core of Giant's Deep. How did you do it? Giant's Deep's core, huh? Ah, well, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I've got to assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Oh, you! Uh, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> 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 On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. Hmm. <laughs> You'll want to go into the tail of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Huh. Okay, we, there's still a lot more. Make him cough out more. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened to the anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on a vine and eating a seed, and then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? The skeleton was a good find. keeping Keeps the fish away. 
they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Wow, okay. Uh, so there are other anglerfish. Uh-huh. Right. Where's sh your ship? My ship is not far from here, as a matter of fact. If you go straight past the tail of this anglerfish skeleton here, you'll see a flickering light in the fog. Follow that and you'll find my old ship. It's left of it anyway. Uh, shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet, peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. <laughs> oh, we got one more. I found something. Uh, let's see, go ahead. Oh, no, I, I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you so much as glance in dark bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth of the planet where the bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. Maybe that's what that red thing is, is a piece of dark bramble. Maybe so. If we, uh, if we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick-like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be headed toward the same fate. And I can, I tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Okay. So it seems like there's other things to say. I found no my writing. Yeah. Aha! So the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them could have used a bit more thought behind it. Oh well, at least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh, Hatchling? Okay. Well, what do you think? Do we go and just walk? Yep. <laughs> Whoa! Ah. Okay, so it said yes. go to the tail. There's a flickering light. I guess that's where we go, huh? Yep. I'm gonna leave my scout there, I think. And that okay. looks like a ship. Hollowed out vine. Hollowed out vine. Hold on, you're gonna... Ugh. Ah! Can we do something? Okay, so he said go to the hollowed out vine and start walking. Which the other side is open. Right, okay. We really can't walk so much as just glide. Yeah. <laughs> and Oh right, because that's he he was saying something about Dark Hollow or Giant's Deep. Mm-hmm. To get to the core of Giant's Deep. <laughs> Big slide. Oh, ah. lots of fog. Oh. And then all of a sudden we're out, and we're 20 kilometers away from our ship and the scout signal. And now we can walk. And now we can walk. So we have place traveled. We are in the core of... Not quite. We're somewhere <laughs> interesting. Ooh, maybe check the map. Actually, I don't actually really know where this is. Okay, I was thinking somewhere else. <laughs> we are in the middle of the sun? No, no. Uh, Your marker is off to the side at Dark Bramble. Yeah. Oh, you are here. Yeah, we're on toward the, the surface of it. Interesting. Well, I guess we better get going while we have oxygen. Oh, what is... That looks terrible. Hmm, I don't know. Play recording. Trip for entry unknown. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna say not one. Crashes, three. Boring crashes, zero. A personal best. Mm -hmm. Whoa ho Never thought I'd see one of these be beasties outside Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here, too. Blah! This thing, thing, 
This thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity? Right. I'm going inside this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's where we go. I kind of don't want... No, you gotta go down there. How? You are down there. I guess. There. Embrace oh. it. <laughs> We've got a note. Note to Feldspar. Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish were, are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. <laughs> <laughs> So the jellyfish are useful for electricity. Insulation. Insulation. But we can't capture any of it. At least I don't see anything of it. But something tells me there is going to be like supercharges of electricity and that's where you need to go to hide. Uh, probably. I don't what really... if there's a boss fight with electricity powers? I'm <laughs> actually kidding. <I'm> just... <laughs> that doesn't exist. I don't see anywhere else to go. Nah, this is the end of the road. I know. <laughs> you know, huh? There was like a couple other things in that pile of stuff. Not really pile of stuff. Inside here? No, the tape recording. Oh. I I don't know if the other thing is actually useful. Okay, it was a canteen. I wasn't sure what it was. And then we have the recording, so that's all. Okay. So, it's a hint about Dark, dark Bramble. What happens if we go down there, I wonder? Space. Probably. <laughs> We're on the south pole of the Bramble, and I don't really feel like we can get back to Feldspar. You know? Well, we can go back the way we came. But then again, I don't know how much time the sun has. That's always a question, indeed. <laughs> plus, you, plus you gotta get back to Feldspar, because he has trees. They have trees. Okay. So let's see. We really need to focus on getting to that one signal where the, the probe is because that's where the trees are and that's where Feldspar is. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I left the, the signal there. I wonder, can we get into Feldspar's ship? Um, doesn't look operational. <laughs> No. Okay, wait, that's the duplicate signal. No, I think you're going in the right direction. It's all the signals. There we go. Scout, 150 meters. Ah. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. 50% fuel remaining. Oh, you should also identify the signal, too, while you're here. I thought I had yeah. done that. Well, uh, you had to, like, put the signal scope on him. And get close. Identified. Alright. Alright, identified. Okay, well... I wonder if he has any fuel. I don't know. I think, I think the camps do. I found something... Uh, frozen jellyfish. Oh, the frozen jellyfish. Ha! Huh, so the old thing is still there, is it? That's where I first camped out after the crash. You know, it was pretty cozy inside. 
and does lack structural acti- act, integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made out of the shelter made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to kill tried to eat you i suppose <laughs> i can read i promise i can read hush still very cozy <laughs> um yeah oh. oh there it is there you go aha aha and I guess there really isn't anything else around. I want to try to see if there's any other new prompts that he has. Um, mm, Where should I explore her? I think we already asked this. We did. But I just wanted to see if it said anything different. So, it doesn't. Um... So I guess we just try to get to the ship and maybe try to... Go to another signal? Go to another area? Somehow? Although I imagine we don't have that much time. No, I imagine we don't have that much time. Nope, down. Up. Yay! Yay! We made it! Also, we stole his last thing of fuel just to get us over here when we right. didn't really need to, and now he has no fuel left himself. So Too bad. They're not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. I hope you feel better. I feel great. <laughs> so, I don't really know where I'm going. So, that flickering is the ship. Is mm -hmm. the ship, right. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Where else can we go? We. You came from there. Yeah. Okay. Surprisingly, I don't see other lights, but. Right. I don't see another core to go into. But the signal scope is probably better for finding something. I don't. That face. I mean, we'll detect felt feldspar. Yeah. Right. There's there's feldspar. What about the other frequencies? I don't know. It uh, it says you can change frequency. Oh, but, uh, I've never done that before. Distress, deep speed, space radio. I've never done that before. I didn't know that was a thing. Quantum fluctuations. <laughs> We're going all over this vine. Well, we, I'm just kind of walking around looking for some signal. I don't see anything that is yeah. going to help us with that. Bummer. Um, I don't... What was that? Oh, that was the core. Go into the core. We're almost out of time. Well, only the scout can go through it. Actually, that's the anglerfish. Yeah, that's the core inside the anglerfish. Only the scout can go through. Right. So, I don't know. Let's just go. What in the world? <laughs> oh, it's I a vine. It's oh, a big it's the, vine. the edge, I think. The edge? The edge of the space. This space, yeah. Yeah, this space. They do all kind of seem to be converging. Converging into a tunnel. Ooh, ow. Oops. Ow. Okay, well, looks like we need to re exit to repair the hole. Wait. Wait. You you got it. You got back into the the seat. Yep, accidentally. How do I repair the hole, I wonder? I think I think you hear some sparks, so that should be where the damage is. The ship's just kind of floating. Can you match velocity with it? Yep. Okay, good good thought. It said the hull, and I'm always very uncertain about where we're supposed to go, you know? Mm -hmm. I 
don't see where we can repair it. I don't see any place either. Oh, there. Okay. Upper hole. Okay. I hear. Oh, um, okay. Uh, we're now out of time. <laughs> just go. Just drive into the. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> don't well, go into the ship. Screw the ship. But she's our ship. All right, so. Go in there. We just came from there. Oh, we did. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. What well, about the red light? Where is the red light? I don't see a red light. Well, we did see it before you got in the ship. I didn't. Oh, that there. red light. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning forward as though that's going to help us get there any faster. Oh, it's another core. A different core. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Well, <laughs> we didn't have to wait for the sun to go supernova. No. We got et instead. Yeah. <laughs> Those things are the reason why I'm so tense in this area. I wanted and to... you led me right into the trap. Thank I, you so much. I honestly did not remember that was where they were specifically. <laughs> <laughs> so, to me... I got an idea for how to deal with them. I tried to be still, um, and it didn't work. Well, but, they already noticed you. But we certainly learned uh, a lot this time around. Quite a lot. As well. The problem is I still don't feel like I've learned anything to put it all together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Yep. Oh. We got to fill up the, the the ship log. Uh, well, Slate, my friend, do you have anything new to say? Uh, nope. The sun's going to go supernova. <laughs> I've, I've done that one. He's like, yeah, the observatory knows that. Uh, okay. Everybody's, we've already talked about that. Yeah, but what if I told you it was like today? Yeah, well, we don't <laughs> get that opportunity. Okay, well, goodbye, Giants Deep. Goodbye, uh, platform and your and your scout that you shoot away and all that stuff. So, <sighs> where are we gonna go next time? It's a mystery. <laughs> I don't want to, but I feel like we need to go back to Brittle Hollow. We've got so much left there. The Southern Observatory is gonna be really important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it was so hard to get to. Yeah. But I'm a better have... pilot now. Mm-hmm. True. I'm going to tell myself that anyway. <laughs> some of the, uh, <laughs> when I was hinting like, oh, there's some really important information at uh, Dark Bramble, you found part of what I wanted you to find really badly. <laughs> part of what you wanted us to find. Yeah. Okay. Well. Because yeah. that jellyfish actually, actually for my playthrough that was the the click for me. Ah. I was like, I know what to do now. Oh, interesting. Interesting, yeah. Well, but I, I had di different information. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I have. I, I think I went to the Southern Observatory before I found the jellyfish. So you knew how to get to Giant Steep's core. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Well. Oh, so that's how we get to the Ashen tw Twins core is because the piece that takes you there got lost beneath the waves and fell into Giant's Deep's core. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying very hard to yeah. uh, be an emotive. Keep her mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... Okay, this was very interesting indeed, and it is a, a fine day here in the, the Crater of Hearth, so this is where we will say goodbye and catch us again in the next episode. Enjoy the peaceful views, which we don't get all that often, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's very brutal out there. Very nice. All right, well, catch us in the next episode, and until then, remember, be excellent to each other. We're out! <laughs>